Welcome into the Friday Night 360 AZ Preview Show. I'm Jordan Ham alongside Haley Stasiak, and we have a great show for you. Brandon Huffman, National Director of Recruiting for Scout.com, is going to be joining us talking Chandler IMG. Huge game this weekend. And also we have Jason Mons of Saguaro High School. They're also going on the road up to Nevada. So plenty of big storylines, some great guests. And with that, we're going to go ahead and bring in Brandon Huffman, the National Director of Recruiting for Scout.com. And Brandon, it seems like in this matchup between Chandler IMG. The, the big matchup is the Chandler skill position guys against that stout defense up front for IMG. What's your assessment of the talent on the field uh, in those areas? Well, I think the big thing for Chandler is going to be just stopping that front seven. I mean, when you got a guy like Xavier Thomas, who's uh, probably the number one defensive player in the country in the 2018 class, and then you throw in Nolan Smith, who is the number one overall player in the 2019 class, both coming off the edge that's going to make it a, a very difficult task for the Chandler offensive line to keep the quarterback upright and allow those skill position guys to get themselves open. And it's not to say it can't happen. I mean, you, you look at what IMG's uh, roster makeup is, and you think, you know, it looks like a college roster, but very good high school teams that, that aren't necessarily the all-star type crowd and mainly Corona Centennial a year ago – have given IMG fit because of the chemistry that those guys have. You know, with, with IMG, they've got this talent, but a lot of it's the first time these guys are actually playing together. So that's where Chandler has that opportunity to really take advantage is that they've got this chemistry, and that's going to be key to keeping Jacob Conover protected and, and keeping him upright so he can get the ball out to his receivers. And, and I think with a guy like Gunnar Romney having the experience that he had at the opening this last summer, uh, as well as the Elite 11, He's been used to going up against top-tier DBs all summer long, and I think that's going to help him. It's not going to be like an eyes-wide-open type of jump for a lot of these guys going into this game. What jumps out to you most about this Chandler team? I, I think it's just the, the diversity in the offense, that they have the ability that they can, they can run the ball, they can throw the ball, uh, they can really move the chains, and I think that's going to be effective. With, with a team like IMG, you know, with, with all that talent that they have, they, you know, they, they've got the horses to, to really make teams a, a little bit frustrated, but I think Chandler does such a nice job of, of balancing their offense and utilizing their weapons that they're not going to be overwhelmed. But I think it's just the, the schedule that they played these last couple of years that, that Chandler has played. I think what jumps out to me is that they're not nervous about a game like IMG. A lot of schools will play them, and, and they're overwhelmed because of the sheer amount of talent on that field. Chandler's used to playing big-time opponents year in and year out outside of the region, so this isn't going to be anything that they haven't done before. And I think that that confidence that they've had in the competition against previous programs is really going to be uh, the great equalizer here. Here with Brandon Huffman, National Director of Recruiting for Scout.com. Brandon, let's focus on the other side of the ball. On the defensive side of the ball for Chandler, you have Chris Manoa, Bryce Jackson, Zach Bowers is picking up offers as well. Uh, in terms of that defensive unit, how do you think they're able to slow down this IMG offense? Well, th that's what they're going to have to do. They're going to have to get to the quarterback, whether it's Archer Tukowski, whether they're getting in the backfield to a guy like T.J. Pleasure. There is a lot of great talent on that offensive side of the ball for IMG, but it's not, uh, again, this is where chemistry is such a key in that you can have a lot of talent. You know, Jordan, you were at the U.S. Army game last year, and you see when you have a great collection of talent – just how difficult it still is to get all that talent to mesh and mold as one. And that's where defenses can take advantage. And that's why you see in, in camps, when you see the high school season going on, when you see the college season going on, the defense is always ahead of the offense. And I think that with, with Chandler's defense, they've got some horses there. They've got some guys there that can get to the quarterback, that can get into the backfield. While IMG is clearly more talented on the offensive side of the ball than Chandler is defensively, it's going to be about can those guys mesh and can that Chandler defense, which has played together two, three, four years, can they take advantage of the, the early meshing that, that IMG is having to do here? Another Arizona powerhouse, Saguaro, is headed up to Nevada to take on Liberty High School this weekend. Now, Liberty lost to Centennial, Corona Centennial and Bishop Gorman last year. What is going to be the key for Saguaro in this game? 
I think it's just going to be get on the board early and really just make some of those plays early on offensively that I think really helps them kind of kind of take that that early advantage, try to get on the board early. I think Liberty, obviously, they're, they're a team that a lot is expected out of them this year, but they did lose some guys to graduation, and, and they're not – uh, the talent-laden roster that they have been in the past. And I think that's kind of the, the theme for the whole state of Nevada. You have some of these programs that, that really excelled a year ago, uh, like a Bishop Gorman, like a Liberty, but graduation. And when you're in a state like that, with the exception of a Bishop Gorman, Liberty doesn't replenish that quickly. And I think the Saguaro's got a lot of key guys. They've got some new incoming talent. They've got some guys like Josiah Bradley that I think are going to make a difference in this game. And I think that I like what Saguaro's got returning as opposed to what Liberty's got returning that I think is going to give Saguaro a bit of an advantage. When you look at the state of Arizona, I think 2018 was a deceptively deep class. And then you also look at 2019 with Spencer Rattler, Jacob Conover, you know, Matthew Polamal, and then even that 2020 class with Jason Harris and uh, Jack Miller. What do you foresee for the next couple of years with Arizona being a football state? Well, I think you said, you know, depth is going to be the key. There, there may not be the top end talent in the 2018 class like there was in previous years. There's no Austin Jackson this year. There, there's no uh, guys like a, like a uh, Isaiah Pola now. But there's some really good talent like a Tyler Shuck, a Solomon Ennis, uh, Mateo Mele that are, you know, guys, and especially Ennis, you know, he really started to emerge at the beginning of his junior year where Mele and Shuck were more – spring of their junior year going into their senior year mergers, but the depth and there's a lot more guys that are that are getting recruited, a lot more guys that are getting offers in this twenty eighteen class and that's carried over into the 2019 class. I mean, obviously, Spencer Rattler is already one of the top four or five quarterbacks nationally. Matthew Pullamal is a guy that we've been high on since he was early in his freshman year. Uh, guys like Brandon Shiver, Seth Robinson, Nate Polk, you know, guys that are keeping that Saguaro train rolling. Uh, there's a lot of good young talent there in the state. And then you mentioned Jason Harris in 2020. I mean, granted, he's going to miss this season, but he's one of those guys that will absolutely be in the discussion for the top overall player in the 2020 class nationally. You know, he's already been on our top two or three watch list for 2020 on scout uh, since the beginning of his freshman year. And when you talk to our basketball guys, they say this guy is a high major basketball prospect as well. So the biggest decision he's going to have to make is, does he go football, does he go basketball? But that, that's a tough decision for a, a kid to have to make. Do I want to be a star basketball player? Or do I want to be a star football player? It must be nice to have those kind of options. <laughs> but that shows you the, the talent level that a guy like Jason Harris has. And when you have a guy like that who is a national recruit already, that just draws more attention, draws more coaches' eyes to the state of Arizona. I don't know that Todd Graham and Rich Rodriguez like it all that much because that means more competition that they're having to recruit against in-state. But I think that that just shows you that there, there hasn't been a peak for Arizona in the state of high school recruiting. It's just continued to get stronger, but more importantly, it's getting deeper each year. Great stuff as always, Brandon. Thanks so much for the time. Anytime, guys. All right, that was Brandon Huffman, National Recruiting Director for Scout.com. This guy is an encyclopedia. Uh, if you're not following him, definitely follow him on Twitter. Keep track of what he's doing at Scout.com. Uh, he does incredible work um, and is a, a great guy as well. Uh, coming in, up next, we're going to have Jason Mons of the Saguaro Sabercats. They're getting ready to head up to Henderson, Nevada, take on Liberty in a big out-of-state game. We're going to talk about some logistics uh, that, are ha that have to go into taking a team on the road like that. This is the Friday Night 360. AZ preview show here on Sports 360 AZ.